So we just had two hours of a perio lecture and it went pretty well, learned a whole lot of good stuff. Now we just have lab, so gonna pop over there and see what <sighs> one more. Whoa. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on, baby. What are you guys doing in here? Uh, bro, I, uh, I dropped a pistol somewhere. Oh, yeah. Here. Where is it? It's you see that here. pistol? I, I can't find it. Uh, pencil. You guys talking about this one? Oh! Hey, okay. hey, hey, that's, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Oh, that's that's kind of weird. All right. <laughs> What's up, Steven? Oh yeah, hey man. How's you, uh, you too? Yeah, no, just just doing some blogging and uh, oh, I heard some some grunting. Yeah, we and, uh, uh, we were studying. Cool. Last okay. Night. All so right. We were, I realized. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, yeah, yeah. I can't I can't write on the board without my pencil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Steven Sweet. Right in hey guys, uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna head out. So you guys have a good one. I guess I'm gonna keep looking for my pencil. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I am bringing you along with me to our pediatric dentistry lab. We have a full slate of assignments to do for Peds Lab, so this should be interesting. I am finishing up some of the composite restorations as well as our stainless steel crown, which should be fun to show you. We also have a bunch of amalgam restorations and then more stainless steel crowns. So this is the first time I'll be taking you through our Peds Lab. It's a new lab for us, but so far it's been pretty fun. There should be some good shenanigans going on as always. So I'll take you along for every bit of it. And let's get started. <laughs> hey, you haven't been on the video in so long. Now was that nice? Yes. <laughs> that's what hey, that's what the people want, dude. First off, this is a pediatric type of knot, which is a little different compared to what we're used to. But you can see some of the composite restorations in these teeth. There's a class five right there, cervical decay. So those I did last lab along with this one. And they look pretty good. And now I need to do a stainless steel crown on this tooth, which is tooth S. The numbering slash lettering system is different for primary teeth. So we're working on kids in this lab, folks, which is new for us. You're mean. Why am I mean? You're mean to me. I'm sorry you're behind. It's not my fault. <laughs> It's not a bad point. I'm only one tooth behind. Well, I'm gonna prep, I'm gonna prep the tooth first, and then I'm gonna see if, see if I can get another another crown. How's it going, dude? You learning how to you learning how to work on kids? <laughs> this kid is really compliant. I'll tell you what. Hey, that's a good. Is that your prep crown prep? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is. Is it not? Is it fitting? It fits. We gotta snap it pretty, uh, pretty aggressively. Pretty there, yeah. Which is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on mine myself. So just about to show the good people. You know what's fun? Doing dentistry with this guy, like literally just breathing down your down your shoulder. I know he loves it constantly. <laughs> I love being right by the line, mm. just sitting directly next to the line. All right, so this is my first ever stainless steel crown. Now stainless steel crowns are very common in pediatric dentistry. They are the treatment option of choice if a patient has caries that have progressed to a large portion of the tooth structure. So if we have to cut the tooth down, we're most likely gonna use a stainless steel crown. And basically these are different than an adult crown because we use the retention of the, the actual tooth structure. So we're not prepping the buccal or the lingual, we're really just prepping the occlusal surface and the interproximals and then snapping that crown down on there, as you can see right there. And it's up next to an MO there on tooth T. Honestly, this was a lot easier than an adult crown. So if kids were just typodonts, I think pediatric dentistry would be pretty easy. But unfortunately, there are a lot of factors about working on children that make it a little bit more difficult. So I'll be interested in that when I get in the clinic. But as for now, the lab stuff, it's on a smaller scale and it tends to be a little bit easier. So with this done, I'm basically gonna move on to the amalgam portion of the lab. I'm doing a bunch of amalgam preps and fills, which is awesome. I love amalgam. It's a great restorative material. 
and I feel like we haven't used it in a long time just with our assignments and everything. So I'm gonna get these checked off along with the composites that I did last time and then move on to the amalgam. Also, I'm using my new Ergo Prism loops. Check out the review if you haven't seen that. Everybody wants to try it out. Look up, straight forward. No, I'm looking at it. You got it? What do you think? Dude, I like it a lot actually. You like it? Yeah. It's pretty nice. How's your neck feel? A lot better. Oh yeah. Posture is way better. You look fantastic. See, yeah, I think win. I dig this. It looks to me like it's I'm converting them one by one. Thanks. Oh. Thoughts? Well, I get used to that. You get used to that? Uh huh. I like that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm converting them one by one. Everybody wants them. I'll have me a pair one day. You'll have you a pair. Good deal. So the Ergo Prisms are an absolute hit. And if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the descriptions. And these things are sweet. So one thing that I have realized is that when you're cutting on primary teeth, the margin for error is a lot smaller. So no judgments on these preps, because I don't think they're very good, but it's tough. So if you make one little mistake, you are in big trouble compared to when you're cutting on an adult tooth where you have a lot more room to work with. Just a couple of amalgam preps here. I don't think they're quite ready. Those are the prettiest preps I've ever seen in my life. I was just talking about how bad they were. I thought they were good. I'm airing myself out on YouTube. I also don't know what the class one portion of a tooth L prep is supposed to look like because I've never cut a tooth before that looks like that. So I have no idea if that's right. <laughs> I missed Lane completely. So I've decided I'm gonna do two more crown preps and then I am going to call it a day. So we'll get those done and have a weekend. We got another one, folks. Look at him. Dad, go we got back. another one. Maybe sit, maybe use it. And this guy is a loops guy. I don't like my loops. So, posture is looking fantastic. Yeah, well, let me, <laughs> let me put a chair up here. You want to go You want a mirror? No. I can tell, no, dude, I can see everything. Right back here. Unbelievably popular. An absolute smash hit with the classmates. So, Lumident, you did something right. Here's an idea of what these preps look like. Definitely different than a traditional crown prep. It's a lot less invasive in the tooth structure. Just basically breaking the contacts and reducing the surface. So that's all we really do. So I'm gonna see if I can get some crowns onto these teeth, and then I'm calling it because it's been a long day. Just to show you the results, A fits, as you can see, and B does not fit. B needs to come down, you can see the tooth structure there. Right down there on the lingual, the gingival margin, I'm gonna have to reduce there on the distal lingual a little bit to get that to get that crown to pop on fully. Because obviously we don't want, we don't want that one so high. But A fits, which is really exciting. So that's two successful, Stainless steel crowns done. And I'm excited about that. I just had to get this on video, because this is wild. This is the first floor of the GEB. Isn't this wild? I guess. You know what it reminds me of? This looks yeah. The way that Crosstown looks, or like, Probably looked. They got rid of all the walls. <laughs> so friends, that is gonna do it for this
this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what a pediatric dentistry lab kind of looks like. This is a new lab for us. That was only the second session that we've ever had, but it's just one of many. We have so many different specialties in dentistry, so many different things to learn and do, and peds is just kind of the last one here before we get into the clinic and start treating live patients. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I am done for the week. It was kind of a reasonable week. Life is, isn't too bad these days, just sort of in the end of our second year of dental school here. But hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you like the video and subscribe to see more. There are videos coming out every single week. You don't wanna miss any of them, so make sure you subscribe. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. The support that you guys have been giving me on the videos is absolutely amazing. And it just means the world to me, especially getting to see some of you actually go in and start dental school yourselves or a couple months from starting. It's all very exciting to me and I'm super happy that we're building this community on this channel. So make sure to become part of it if you're not. And guys, I love you. As I always say at the end of my videos, I will see you in the next one.